okay um, examples of the quotient tool so as described in the previous video on quotient tool uh, the quotient tool is simply what does it say you have two functions and you have to find out the der derivative so it's simply you square the function in the denominator and place the square in the denominator in the numerator you keep the keep the function in the denominator as it is differentiate the function in the numerator and then you subtract from this term the function in the numerator as it is times the derivative of the function in the denominator so that's what the quotient tool says and let me just take an example uh, and yes the alternative would be that you take u v to the negative one and then apply the product rule for this function okay I'll show you both methods let me take an example x over e to the x okay you have to differentiate this so in the denominator differentiate this with respect to x you have e to the x squared in the numerator you have e to the x as it is the derivative of x which is one take away x as it is the derivative of e to the x which is e to the x so you get e to the x one minus x over e to the two x or e to the x squared which gives you e to the x in the denominator I'm sorry you're, you're left with e to the x in the denominator so one minus x over e to the x okay what if I what if I did it this way what if I just rewrite this as x times e to the negative x and then I differentiate it with respect to x right I apply the product rule now the first function as it is the derivative of the second which is negative e to the negative x okay negative one here plus here because you have you're applying the product rule the second function as it is the derivative of x which is one so e to the negative x comes out you're left with one minus x which is one minus x over e to the x so you get the same thing so this is an alternative to the quotient rule you can simply apply the product rule by taking the power of the denominator to the negative one